It's the Rotten Apple Show. We've got nowhere to go. Here we are. We can't go far. It's the Rotten Apple Show. Yay! What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to episode six. Oh my gosh. Of it's the Rotten, Rotten Apple, Apple Show. Show. My name's Kelsey. And my name is Sha. And this is the Rotten Apple Show! <laughs> Woo! We've got a great lineup for you tonight. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Good. Why don't we tell them about it? Yeah, folks. Tonight's episode, we've got a brand new segment called Really Truly Fake News. More on that later. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we've got a brand new Kevin's Corner. And today, Kevin talks about spam calls and dancing so we can't Deep wait to subjects. see what he's up to on that and of course we've got our special guest erica rhodes who i personally love she's an actor writer producer and of course a comedian and uh you she has a number one ranked album on itunes called sad lemon um amazing amazing woman and i can't wait to catch up with her so that is our main event tonight yeah but first for those of you who have never seen the show before, Kelsey and I, uh, we formed Rotten Apple a couple years ago, and we were bringing stand-up comedians from around the country that have been on Netflix, HBO, Dry Bar, Amazon Prime, you name it, to our beautiful hometown in central Washington. So really That's quick, right. I want to give a shout out to Shalan, Manson, Wenatchee. We Woo! love you, folks! <laughs> And of course, we can't put on shows anymore, so what we decided to do is take the camera, flip it around, put it on us, and have a good time, have some fun, uh, and catch up with some of our favorite comedians. So we're so happy you're able to join us now. From time to time, at the bottom of the screen, you will see a couple ways that you can support the show if you're able. We know times are tough out here right now, and there's no pressure if you can't. Please just relax and enjoy the show. But if you can, any tips donated during the show to our Venmo account, Venmo at Rotten Apple Crew, you're pointing to the Patreon. <laughs> there you go. At Rotten Apple Crew will be split tonight with Erica and us, which is awesome because we get to support comedians who are also out of work. And then for mm -hmm. ongoing support, we have a Patreon, which is like a membership. You get part of our club, uh, polls, updates, and you get your name at the end of the credits if you're a Rotten the Core member. So go to patreon.com slash Rotten Apple Crew. And of course, we just love the fact that you guys join us on your 7 p.m. on your Thursday when you got must-see TV. We love you guys. Thank you so much. All right. You're welcome. So, are you guys ready? So, our first segment tonight is a brand new one. Uh, and basically, it's called Really Truly Fake News. And what that means is that we take hilarious stock photos and turn them into news that we made up. No, 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 babe. These are completely real news uh, stories. Yes, that's right. Don't All right. check the facts. Don't check the resources. Just trust us. These are things that are happening in the community. All right. And we want to make you aware. <laughs> without further ado. A man in a medium-sized town was arrested for putting on a mask and breaking into people's homes, claiming to be enforcing stay-at-home mandates. The perpetrator was quoted as saying, I was making sure people were social distancing. The official computer center of the world is asking citizens to beware of hackers during these times. The famous hacker pictured here has been known to digitally steal people's loot, take pics of their booty, and cause your computer to abandon ship. Arr! The guy who always eats out was found complaining about having to cook at home. Rotten Apple asked him how he felt about learning how to cook yet eating a raw pineapple. And he responded, it's bittersweet. <laughs> a millennial over where you live published a blog post about problems he's having with cutting his hair and shaving. After shaving off half of his beard, then immediately regretting it, he sadly tweeted, I'm half the man I used to be. Loneliness is on the rise and people are starting to get creative 
when it comes to relationships. A man just east of the ocean was found in a house filled with air-filled objects. When we asked about how balloons and blow-up dolls were helping him cope during the quarantine, he responded, What quarantine? Peeping Tomism is on the rise in some parts of the world. Rotten Apple was shocked to find the man in this photo was not only peeping, but his name was also Tom. <laughs> With the job market in a frenzy, people are taking drastic measures to bring income into the household. Last month, a mother forced her two-year-old baby to get a job in online sales. The baby's response is pictured here. The photo was taken right after she found out she didn't get the promotion. Staying fit has been a challenge for a lot of people as they figure out how to get exercise at home. We asked head trainer at Muscles Burgers and Beyond about how she is helping clients stay fit. We couldn't understand her written response because she only types with her nose. People working from home are complaining about the awkwardness of video conference calls. Some frustrations include freezing video and bad audio, but CEO of Huggable Homes LLC complained that everyone keeps asking me to discuss the elephant in the room. A man was found high on life after playing with bubbles for 48 hours straight. Not only was the man incredibly happy, he was also completely naked. We found a rare sighting when a driver with road rage was yelling at no one on the streets. When we asked what was making him so angry, the man explained, I'm just starting to realize that the problem was always me and I'm working on it, so please ask me in a few months when I become more self-aware, when I rebuild my purpose in life, love myself, and give back to my community. We ended up flipping him off. Earlier this week, an elderly woman was brought in for questioning after pointing a gun at her husband. When asked why she assaulted her partner, she responded, It wasn't my idea. I just do what little Mr. Tiger King tells me to do. A man up north was reported to be overstocked on cleaning supplies and running low on food, causing him to eat his feather dusters and drink cleaning fluids. When we asked for a quote on why he was doing this, he said, I'm just putting my mouth where my money is. People are outraged by a recent photo shoot with luxury fashion brand Poopy Butt Inc. They used rolls of toilet paper for a magazine ad photo shoot. It sparked even more controversy when people in the company revealed that the ad was sponsored by Bumwash Inc., the largest bidet company in the world. Corporations are trying to figure out where they stand during these times. Some companies are shifting their production to create health and safety products. Some are donating to charities while others are working to help consumers. And then there are some companies that sell photos of generic businessmen with random digital graphics blended with a game of chess. Really, truly fake news. We hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below and let us know what you think. Yeah, let us know. Ding. Okay. Speaking of letting people know, our favorite person to ask questions is our roommate slash father in love slash father. His name is Kevin, and we asked him questions about the world, and you might recognize Kevin because someone like Kevin is in your life. Um, so, without further ado, here's a brand new episode of Kevin's Corner. Well, you know, 
I'm getting about fed up with those guys. Every day my wife tells me, well, you got to check your phone, make sure I haven't called, you know, leave you a message, leave me a... M so what do I do? I check my phone and there's a half a dozen potential spam calls. You know, I don't care if we're in a lockdown or not. These guys got nothing better to do than bug my ass on a work day. I've had it. I got one the other day from one of these jerks. Here. Listen to this. This is an important message from the CDC. You have been recognized as someone who has been in direct contact with a person or persons who have COVID-19 coronavirus. You are required to remain where you are and self-quarantine for 14 days and possibly more due to your small wiener. Tiny wieners have will in more quarantine days. Wiener size like yours could triple your time. Please be advised that you have a tiny weenie. Son of a b Oh, man. Oh, shy, do I got moves. I remember back in the day, I could bust a move with the best of them. One of my favorites was, uh, I called it the curlicue. Remember the Three Stooges? He'd get the curly get down on the floor and whip, whip himself around. I love that one. Then, of course, there was the, uh, you know, there's the limbo and the, the twist and, and the hustle and all that. But uh, the one that sticks to my mind is... Uh, come up with this one in high school. It's called the Gator. Probably want to know what the Gator is. Well, take a couple pitchers of beer, take your shirt off, just swamp the floor with beer, tuck your arms real tight and short, and you get down there and you just start worming around in the beer. Yeah, that was the Gator. You know, now that you got me thinking, and once they open this thing back up, I think Shalane's going to be seeing a lot more of me, especially at the bars. And that's Kevin's Corner. great dance moves from that man babe do you know how to do the gator now now i know how to do the gator uh and i'm looking forward to learning a lot more dances that kevin used to do 50 years ago <laughs> so much fun all right you guys we're almost ready for your main event are you ready <laughs> clapping ready Okay, before we bring the amazing uh, America, uh, Erica Rhodes on, um, we actually have a fun little clip that uh, we took from her uh, Prairie Home Companion at the Town Hall in New York City this last uh, Christmas time. So a really, really great performance. We just wanted to show you a little clip of. Um, so enjoy. I get depressed sometimes. Yeah. And I just want to lie in bed all day. But then I'm like, is it lie in bed? Or is it lay in bed? <laughs> Right, because a chicken lays an egg, but sleeping dogs lie. So do chickens lay and dogs lie? And then I'm like, okay, it's definitely time to get up. <laughs> but you're not supposed to end a sentence with a preposition. No. So then I'm like, I might as well just stay in bed. <laughs> but is it might as well or is it may as well? I think what I'm trying to say is I'm a really good lay. <laughs> Or is that just a really big lie? Erica Rhodes, ladies and gentlemen. Erica Rhodes. Woo! <laughs> hey! Hi. How's it going? Good. It's good to see you guys. Good to see good you too. Good to see too. you too. Let's get in a little bit here. Oh, mm -hmm. oh this nice way. And close. Oh, yes. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Okay. A little bit more. Oh, that's Erica. me. <laughs> You're good, Erica. Oh, okay. Like, I'm just. I'm yeah. just trying to figure out who to be closer to me <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> how are you you know we were talking a little earlier and um you know you're looking 
quarantine fly. Yeah, you were like, that was your nice way of being like, you look like you put in zero effort. <laughs> no, <laughs> you look amazing. Yeah, that was don't worry your polite way of being like, no, you look, you know, like quarantine chic, like as if you just woke up. Yeah, it's a new look, right? It's like what everybody's talking about. I so. would, I wouldn't worry about it. I've got, um, I think, a couple of yellow jackets and a honeycomb inside my beard that nobody can see. You guys like are cheating with the whole lighting and like you're like all professional. It's like it's a little intimidating. It's showbiz, baby. Yeah. Um, no, I gotta get, I gotta get with the program. I need a budget. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Speaking of getting with the program you yeah. got with our program, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you like that? It was and so much were... fun. I loved your. I loved performing there. It was like the audiences were amazing. You guys were like the best host ever, and I'm not just like blowing smoke. Like it was <laughs> so much fun. You guys took me on a day trip that was so memorable. Like of yeah. that small <laughs> town, and it was Leavenworth. So everybody, for the folks at home, she's talking about Leavenworth. <laughs> Leavenworth. Yeah, Leavenworth was so magical. And we like did remember when we went into the Christmas shop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She's talking about Kris Kringle, guys. Yeah. So it's a year round. Uh, it's a year round Christmas shop. It's horrifying, but also really fun. Yeah. It's and like spent, amazing. Yeah, we spent quite a bit of time. <laughs> We did a lot of we did like a full, full on photo shoot there, and it and yeah. it was like July, right? It was July. <laughs> yeah, I remember because we were talking about. I was like, this is how how much I don't even remember. Like we were talking about some guy. I don't even remember what guy I was all upset about at that time. But mm -hmm. I was like all upset of, or like I was all worked up about a guy, and for the life of me, I can't remember who it was. Okay. So he was definitely like Instagram famous or something because I remember <laughs> the dilemma. Oh, and by the way, I feel like oh, I should leave yes. right now. Yeah, you guys, yeah, I'm gonna get out of no, here. By the way, our brother and sister in law was with us, Tammy and Syph, who also just had a baby oh, literally yes. two days yes. ago. Yes, Syph, oh, Tammy, we yes. love you. Yes. Thank joined us on April 20th uh, or 21st, 21st sorry 21st and um she's beautiful she's perfect and um I I think Sife's actually watching somehow right now uh, but yeah <laughs> oh, they were with us that trip Sife. congratulations you guys I know right so anyway we uh we love you and yeah we had a lot of fun in Leavenworth but the guy you're talking about uh yeah, it was a it was a whole debacle because he had a he had a really intense social life. That's all I remember. <laughs> I think I remember because we were analyzing it and then it just like unraveled completely. <laughs> like and then I texted you and I was like, I just have to follow up on what happened. <laughs> yeah, you did. But and we were wine tasting. We were wine tasting yeah. too. So uh, yeah, we we let loose that afternoon. We, uh, it wasn't just wine. Yeah, I think was, you you guys went like vodka shot tasting and there's a couple other Oh yeah, we went to Blue Spirits, we went yeah. to the distillery and Yeah. Yeah. We did everything. Like we got fudge, we went to the Christmas yeah. shop, we like went wine tasting. Was there a show that night? Yeah. <laughs> and you guys did I think two shows. Oh my god. Happening. Yeah. <laughs> it was so worth it though. It was so much fun. Like I remember Aww. it being like the best time. Oh, we're so glad you had a good time. We Tammy, hope sa Tammy says she loves you guys or loves us. And then, hi, Erica. Cause oh, my gosh, hi, Tammy. I love you. <laughs> Tammy's a boss. I mean, I don't know how she's online right now. She just gave birth, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we love you, Tammy. Thank you for watching today. So, Erica. <laughs> like, um, oh, go ahead. Oh, go I was going to say this is, like, the worst time to have a kid, but also, like, the best time to have a kid. Like, I like, I everybody's agree. home, so you're not, you don't feel like you're missing out on anything. You're just like, oh, sorry, I have a baby. You yeah, know? about bonding too, like between the mother and the father. I mean, I just think it's great. But uh, yeah. so so yeah, there's there's mixed feelings there. We can't have the baby, so that sucks for us. But for the mom and dad, oh. it's great. <laughs> hey, listen, we're we're just excited. We're happy. You know what? During this whole time, like we've figured ways to reinvent ourselves and make the most of this time. Can you talk about some of the things that you're doing online? And by the way, folks, uh, speaking of things that we're doing online, I'm just going to leave this, the tips, whoops, there we go, online because as we mentioned earlier, any tips 
during the show at Benmo at Ron Apple Crew, we'll be splitting with Erica so that we can continue to create and do awesome stuff online. So what kind of things are you doing online uh, while you're hanging out at home? And where are you, by the way? <laughs> well, I'm in Florida because I was like, I got all scared of LA and I was like, I need to get out of here. And then I told my sister, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go near you. But she's like, well, you can't come stay here yet because I'm, I'm paranoid. So then I came and got an Airbnb and then I got sick a week into it. And then I had to renew it. So I've been here a month alone, 10 minutes from my sister and she'll drive by every once in a while. But, um, that's about it. Well, that doesn't sound very fun. (laughs) No, I mean, it's actually okay. It's like, there's this beautiful wood path nearby. I'm like suddenly feeling like I'm busy. Like I'm doing like, zoom shows i'm writing i'm like yeah, we're live like, like five times today <laughs> i i what i said you were live like five times today i was like wow erica's busy like i see you <laughs> a lot of people are bringing you on live that's great i know it's like it's really weird like my one problem is that technology like i definitely need an upgrade with my computer so i'm mm-hmm. like you know, I'm waiting to do that because I'm not I don't have much income coming in. But uh-huh. um, but but the same with you guys, like, I think the only way to deal with these times is to reinvent yourself. And like, just sort of figure out new ways to be creative. Because yeah. I was talking to someone recently about how I feel like it's an illusion, the idea of giving permission to be creative. Like, that's all sort of in our heads. Like, oh, we need a venue. We need a place. We need a, mm-hmm. a, a spot. And now it's just like, it's free for all. It's like, if you have to be creative, you're going to be creative, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And it's, it's a no judgment zone. That's kind of what we discovered. You know, we we ourselves were never the type. I mean, shy a little bit because he intros the shows. But like, especially me, I'm not the on air type. And but, but yet I love to make content. I love to do silly things. And so we kind of just started saying, okay, we have all these ideas. Like let's take these ideas and actually execute them rather than just talking about them because now we have a little bit of time and everyone's doing it. So what do we have to lose at this point? You know? And um, yeah. And nobody's judging you like based on like if there are little glitches or like Mm -hmm. if it's not perfect, it's almost like, it's like how YouTube was when it first started where it was yeah. just like, whatever you do is fine because <laughs> everybody gets it, you know? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> everyone's like, I'm going crazy. Yeah. yeah. So- <laughs> Speak- speaking of support, we've got some amazing comments coming in here. Yeah. Uh, Brianna Queen B said you were so amazing at that show. She was at that show and got a chance she to did. see you. She drove from Seattle to watch that yeah. show, actually. Yeah, she oh, did. Gosh. Just for one night. <laughs> Hold back just a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, you guys, and then- you know what I- Oh, you're still reading? Okay. Oh, yeah, just a couple more. Uh, yeah. John McCaw the third says, I love you, Erica. Highlight of my day. <laughs> Folks, Aww. if you got for Erica, too, keep it coming in. We'll ask them f- to her on behalf of you, and we'll put you up on the screen here. Yeah. But uh, And one more. Um, let's see. Take her out of your wall. Oh, that's not for you. Take her out of your wall. <laughs> and Alex says, hey, Erica. So just, just the fans reaching out. want to keep this fun and interactive. Hey guys! Uh, hey! 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 <laughs> um, so no, I cut you off. You were saying something. Oh before. no! What I was saying was what I loved about Lake Sh- Chelan, besides learning how to say it, um, <laughs> was that w- after the shows I would go for walks. Or, um, what was the main street called? Main Street. Wooden. Wooden Street. Okay. <laughs> so I would like go Wooden walk app. around. There was like one circle, right, that you would walk, right? Because it's like such a small town. Mm-hmm. And people, like there was literally a guy on the roof who was like, great show last night. <laughs> <laughs> on the roof? Like, this is like what you, this like you literally hear people shouting from the rooftop, great yeah. show. Like that's the first time I've ever experienced anything like that. Like yeah. they're shouting from the roof. Yeah. That, that's our buddy Steve Fiddler. We call him yeah. Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> You know who he is? No, no. I, that was really good. It was, it was, a dumb, it was, it was so believable. I was like, do yeah. you know him? 
<laughs> you know Steve? Yeah. No, this town, we we completely agree. Um, it's actually really funny because I'm wa- from Washington, and Washington in general is a pretty fr- fe- like friendly place. But uh, Chelan especially, it's obviously it's small town. And, and Shy, being from L.A., when we first started living here, people would wave to us. And he got really into that because it's like we'd be in the car and people would wave at a stop sign. And he'd be like, what the heck? Like, no one's ever waved at you before. But then he started like an aggressive wave that I think actually started scaring people like to the – like he was like overly, overly nice. And I'm like, I think you're scaring the nice people. <laughs> You're like too. You got too into it. You're like I'm yeah. friendly now too, and they're like, whoa, whoa, yeah, <laughs> whoa, too much, down, too much. You know, for me, like I didn't know I was a small town guy until I moved to a small town, uh, because when I was in Los Angeles, and you know what it's like, right? Like, what I wanted to do was I wanted to find a community, right? And right, everywhere in LA, there's communities, but it's so much work to get in them. You have to be super cool, super rich, or super good looking, or super lucky, or, you know what, I'll just leave it at that. So out here, I can look like I look, and everybody's waving at me. And so- You look I super doing- cool, what are you talking yeah. about? I know, especially here, he's like, yeah, he he stands out here for sure. So- I, Well, I, I get that. You know, I get the small town thing. Like, I think there's something really nice about it. And especially right now when we're, our values are sort of changing as a society, like all at the same time, it's like you kind of want to know the people around you. You don't want to be in a big city. It feels scary. That's why I got out of L.A. I was like, I got to get out of here. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah. If you, if you were to move to a small town, do you have a, a small town that you'd move to? Mm-hmm. You know, um, besides I really Lake- like. I really liked Wilmington, North Carolina. All right. Ooh, North I'm gonna, Carolina. I'm going to do a... Shout out to Petey Pablo, North Ooh, Carolina. Oh yeah. Yeah. Take your shirt off. Spin Dude, around your head. Ready like a helicopter. Really quick, a really sweet <laughs> comment before you uh, go on on that. Uh, Rhonda <laughs> Guy Sermon says, Erica, I've watched you five times today. I feel like a stalker. Ha ha. Highlight of my day. <laughs> laughing with you. Loved your mom. This AM. Shout out to Rhonda, super Woo! fan. What's up, Rhonda? Guy, Rhonda Guy. I like that. My main Rhonda, name is Guy. Rhonda, Rhonda you're going to get this noise. <laughs> the, same, the same noise that Wilmington got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so tell us about Wilmington. Would you ha- like? We're still building our library on Sound of X. <laughs> I loved Wilmington because it's right by the water. So, like, for me, I have to be, that's what, I, I mean, Lake Chelan would be a, a close second, but I've just been to Willing, I, I've been to Wilmington a couple times, and they yeah. have a really good ice cream shop, and mm. a mm. really beautiful walk by the river, and like, you know, like gorgeous sunsets, and it's like, here's the problem, remember when I came there, there was that fire. Oh, oh yes. that's right. So you didn't get to experience the full we the full Chelan experience. Yeah. No, we were gonna go out on a boat and we couldn't because of the fire. Like every and right. every remember everything smelled like fire. And and I think that's why we took you to Leavenworth, because we we're like, okay, we could show her some quirky shops indoors. Um yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> But um, then I saw pictures. People were showing me pictures of what it looked like when there wasn't a fire. Oh yeah. And it was just gorgeous. So you need to come back. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I need to go back when it's not on fire. Yeah, it is really beautiful without the fire. The smoke really kills this, the buzz. This is what it looks like. Oh no, those oh. are palm trees. No. Sorry. You're like that's L.A. <laughs> All right, let's get back to right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, er- Erica, if you don't mind, we're gonna do a fun game. Yeah, uh, fun game. Called the Rotten Apple Minute. I just made that up right now. Um, <laughs> But the game, it's like very it. simple. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, the game's very simple. Kelsey's going to ask you some questions, and they do have a real answer. And we're going to ask as many as we can in one minute. And you're just going to say the first thing that comes to your mind. And it doesn't have to be the real answer, just whatever comes to your mind. And we're just going to have a little bit of fun. You ready? Cool. The first thing that comes to my mind. Yes. Okay. Yes. So just, and we will say the correct answer after, but we want to see what your brilliant mind comes up with first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Speaking of which, you came out with Ian, and I gotta say, yeah, you guys were two of the funniest back-to-back 
that we've seen over the three years that we've been doing this or two and a half years, like to have Erica Rhodes and to see where you've gone since we first mm -hmm. met you, it's unbelievable. You've been on NBC that yeah. uh, bring the funny and, and all the work that you've done. Uh, it's, it's really been a joy to watch. So we were, we were lucky. To and I, I love you say this, guys. I love we you. love you too. We love you too. And I got to say this too, Erica. I mean, Erica Rhodes, she came here and she actually opened for Ian Bag, who we've now seen twice in Chilean because he's one of our. Who's like literally one with... of the funniest people alive. Absolutely. And absolutely one of our crowd favorites. But the fact that you, I mean, he obviously, because he also brought uh, Dave, Dave Williamson, he, he obviously knows his people and trusts his people and like. He brought you and yeah, you just did so great with him. And the fact that you could stand up to him and be right there was yeah. just Stand fantastic. up to him. Stand up to Ian. Yeah. yeah. Bow, bow, bow. So funny. Okay. Anyway. anyway all right. Time for the, time for the run Why don't you get in the middle? I'm going to move out of the way for a second. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go, Erica. All right. Okay. Are you ready? All right. I'm Talk ready. is on. I think. I think. Here all we right. go. Ready, set, go. Okay. Tick, 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 tick. Everyone in the world needs it, but they usually give it without taking it. What is it? They give it without taking it. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Advice. Yeah. Oh, right. oh my God! You got it right. You got it right. Okay. Next question. What can you hold without touching it at all? What can you hold? Um, your breath. Close, but it's, it's a conversation. Oh. Hold on a second, though. <laughs> I'm, as the guy on the side who's also the judge, I'm going to allow that, so we're going to change that to a... Yay! <laughs> we have time for one more question. Okay, one more question. I am an odd number. Take away one letter and become, I become even. What number am, am I? Sorry, I really butchered that. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> and she butchered the word but butter, by the way. Wait, okay, happened? sorry, sorry. Read you, read you, read you. Read you. Okay. Not, you lost me a number. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. This one, do this one. Okay, we're going to do a different one. Okay. What, what five letter word becomes shorter when you add two letters to it? What five letter word becomes shorter when you add two letters to it? Uh huh. Oh, man. Um,. What five letter word becomes shorter? <laughs> um, man, this is a hard one. Um, it's a trick. It's, it's a, a tricky one. It's a tricky one. You want to know? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's give it to her. It's short. It's the word short. Oh Get my it? god, I almost said that. <laughs> and just because I you almost, almost said that, it didn't make sense in my head. <laughs> like it, didn't, it didn't add up to me. You scored three out of three on the Rotten Apple Minute. That's a world record. Yeah, uh, actually. So congratulations. Uh, the audience more. loves it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Erica, you're hilarious. You're talented. We're, it's an honor to have you on the show. Folks, any tips that you could send to add Rotten Apple Crew will be splitting with Erica tonight. Uh, and, of course, uh, we're going to find you online. Where can we find you online? Where can people find you and, and support you and be a part of your world while we're in this crazy time? Mm -hmm. Just I'm I'm at Erica Rhodes on Twitter, at Erica Rhodes on Instagram and Facebook, too. So just, you know, look me up. I'm, I'm easy to find. I'm apparently I'm I'm here all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Five For times you, a doing day. pleasure. <laughs> yeah, you can catch her five times a day, folks, online. So if you want more Erica, she's hilarious. She does Instagram Live and all the good stuff. And it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, thanks uh, for giving cool. thanks for giving comics a platform right now. It's really cool of you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for being a part of it. We hope we hope the best and we hope that you guys can get back up on stage soon because Yeah, we hope to have you back in Chelan yeah. as well. I would love to. I, I would love to come back. Well, you will. Well, as, as soon as the, the governor lets us. Yeah. Right? Yes. All right. We're not going to get into politics. Okay, okay. Yeah, no politics. And that concludes our show. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and on that we note. You. Folks, say bye to Erica. We love you, Erica. Thank love you. Bye. 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 Oh, it's the Rotten Apple Show.
Probably. Just kidding. Just, just kidding. kidding. Not We're quite back. done not yet. yet. Not yet, folks. Real quick side note about Erica. Well, first of all, we love her. Thank you, Erica, so much for coming on the show tonight. Yeah. But she also has an album out on iTunes called Sad Lemon, and it actually was number one on iTunes for several weeks. So if you haven't already, check that out. Sad Lemon, Erica Rhodes, R H O D E S. Or you can follow her online. Yeah. yeah, guys, don't be a sour puss and don't buy Sad Lemon. <laughs> come on, guys. She's the cutest, right? Yeah. I mean, come on. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, not everybody can hang with uh let me just do this uh silent here not everybody can hang with the rotten apple minute obviously so the fact that she was able to hang and actually answer one of the questions shows how quick and smart she is yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways folks thank you so much once again for joining us we're doing this every thursday at 7 p.m mm -hmm. uh we're having a blast doing this and we're having a blast creating new content thank you so much to our patreon supporters that's Rod and Cindy Brooks, Jeff Kudashevich, Lake Chelan, Dogs England Chiropractic, uh, Taz Linwall, and David Linwall. We love you guys so much. And Randy Olson, some of our new Patreon subscribers. You guys keep us creating and keep us going. Thank you so much. Um, also, to everybody who's tipped tonight in the past, we appreciate you so much. Uh, this is our love letter to you guys and our friends and our family and our fans. So we're going to keep chucking on every Thursday at 7 p.m. on Facebook. So... Please look out for next week. Yeah, next week we've got Lachlan Patterson. He's on Last Comic Standing. He was one of our just most, one of the most hilarious and fond uh, shows that we had in Chelan. Sold July out. July 4th weekend Multiple sellouts. in 2018. So um, please join us for that. He's hilarious. He's been doing a lot of live, uh, live funny stuff too as well. And uh, yeah. We're going to get through this, you guys. Keep watching us. We're going to keep laughing with you. And we can't wait to see you next week. Love you. Bye. Let's dance. Bye. It's the Rotten Apple Show. We've got nowhere to go. Here we are. We can't go far. It's the Rotten Apple Show. <laughs>